So one of the dirty secrets in our industry that nobody really talks about is that it's very easy to get a patent, but it's very difficult to get a quality patent, a valuable patent. In fact, many experts will say that 95 to 97 percent of patents are worthless. In fact, I spoke at a conference last year and I got up and I, and I stated that statistic uh, and four speakers, experts in the industry after me, got up and they echoed the same thing. And I had, have had monetizers uh, talk about the fact that it's so difficult to find patents that they can actually take and monetize. And the reason isn't because patents are inherently worthless. Patents are inherently valuable, but you have to do them right in order to get good quality patents. And the way you do it right is that before you start writing your patent, you have to be strategic in developing the patent. You need to, to be in a position where your business people can pick up the patents or the patent applications that you're drafting and understand how those patents are gonna, going to advance the business goals of the company. Because at the end of the day, a patent is a business tool. Most people think that patents are technical documents, you know, and they rely on primarily technical writers to write their patents. But the fact is that a patent is a business tool, and it's a business tool that has underlying it a very complex set of legal rules. And what's very interesting is that the patent office has its own set of rules for granting patents, and the courts have another set of rules for enforcing patents. And if you don't have both of those sets of rules in mind at the time that you're developing the patent, you can be in a position where the patent office will give you a patent, but when you go to enforce the patent in court, the courts will say, sorry, we're not, going to, we're not going to enforce that patent. Now you may be thinking, well, I don't really want to go to court, so what does it make a difference? And the answer to that question is that patents are only valuable if they will stand up in court when put to the test. That is, you don't need to go to court with your patents, but when your competitors look at your patents and they look at it through the litigation lens and they, see, they look at the patent and say, if I have to face this patent in court, will I win or lose? The answer that your competitor has to always say is, I'm going to lose if I, if I do this. Because if they don't say that, then they're going to run with your technology and they're just going to take it.